Papua New Guinea is it's a country that is blessed. It's blessed by its abundance in natural resources, in its beauty, in its cultural diversity, but it's also a country that is challenged from a natural disasters point of view. For those that don't know, it's, it's among the 10 countries in the world most vulnerable to natural disasters. In the past, we had a lot of uh, issues with uh, trying to identify people who are affected by disasters. Because when disasters happen, they migrate or they go away to safer zones, safer places. And the challenge for us was to actually track down and identify which, which people are affected. So that was a challenge we had before. But with the IOM and the United Nations assistance, now we have the uh, displacement tracking metrics. It's easier to not track down on people that have been affected and displaced, so we can bring them into one place and be able to provide all the services that are required. DTM should be taught in all levels of uh, the government, especially at the provincial level, to the districts, to the LLG and the ward levels where uh, people should be well educated in terms of uh, collection of information and data when there is a natural disaster. These people on the ground should be well with, equipped with skills and information so that they're able to report back quickly for relief supplies or help that should come in. I will try my best to uh, do my responsibility in giving information, even try my best to learn with the skills that I've got to impart to my other women leaders so that we are able to also report back from any situation that is affecting us, especially with women and, and any other related issues in the community. We have come to realize the importance of DTM because previously we, we were just assuming but going through this exercise, we have come to realize that there is template and other arrangements that we could use to actually know how many people we are planning for. Let me thank uh, you and as well as uh, other partners from international organizations, our national government, provincial government, for your continued uh, support. Ella has been bombarded with uh, so many disasters. 7.5 magnitude earthquake that has destroyed uh, the entire province. A very critical uh, time when Hela faced with this disaster. Uh, UN has been seen uh, as an angel uh, rescuing uh, Hela, that Hela will forever remember. After the 2018 earthquake, we were able to rely on the DTM again in, in response to the volcanic activity of Mount Ulawan. Uh, 8,000 people were actually affected and were on the move. And again, the DTM enabled us to profile them and get a better sense of their needs. The DTM doesn't rely exclusively on an, uh, a high level of technology. Um, it can be done through paper, matrices and gathering exercises. It can be done through handheld tablets. It can be done through a range of different platforms. So it can reach out to communities where there may not be access to uh, telecommunications, may not be access to the internet. It's still a tool that's flexible, easy to manage, easy to replicate, easy to distribute in the times of a crisis. There's much scope for, um, for making continued use of, of the DTM. Uh, we've been working with, with government, with provincial authorities and of course international partners to launch a joint program uh, building on the nexus between development needs, humanitarian assistance and uh, peace building objectives in the highlands and the DTM will be a fundamental instrument to enable us to get also a sense of movement of people as they are impacted by ongoing conflicts.